Hello. Um, today it is Saturday, about half past eleven, and once again this morning I had planned on getting up for sunrise, and once again snoozed my alarm and just didn't get up. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to head over to somewhere local in Port Glasgow, where there's a couple of lighthouses within a couple of feet of each other. Um, so make for quite a nice picture. The weatherman is a liar. Um, told us it was supposed to be a nice sunny day, a bit cloudy, and so far all we've had is showers, rain, and the sky is pretty poor. Um, so it'll probably be a long exposure. So we'll head up there, have a wee wander around, and see what we get. So I've arrived at Perch Rock Lighthouse in Port Glasgow and by the looks of it I've actually got quite lucky. Uh, just behind me over there you'll see there's a fair bit of mist still sitting on the hill. Still look good as a long exposure. Uh, so I'm going to have a wee walk around, see where the best angle is for me to get it from and then we'll go and have a look at the other lighthouse which is literally just here to my left. Uh, there's a few puddles and stuff like that around, not so many cars so I'll try and get some reflections in the puddle and we'll see how it works out. So we'll just set up for the first shot and really get quite lucky. There's reflections on the lighthouse behind us as well as the mist still sitting on the hills. What you'll notice as well behind me, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, the sky is really dark and moody. So straight away I know that this is going to be a black and white shot. Uh, in terms of what I've set up with, I have a 10 stop filter and sitting on F11 with about 25 seconds exposure time. And I've also slipped in a 3 stop graduated filter there just to take the sky down a wee bit more and make it that extra wee bit moody. So get it taken and then we will move on to the next bit. So for this shot, I've been quite lucky because I've literally had to walk about four feet um, in order to get to the other lighthouse. Actually really, really nice. Um, again, the, star, the sky is quite moody behind me. Um, we've got really quite low to the ground here um, in order to catch the reflection in one of the puddles. No filters this time. Uh, just going to use a bracket and exposure and underexpose for the sky. Again, just to give it that um, kind of moody feel to it. So we'll get this one taken and then we'll probably go one more place before later on tonight when we've got the fireworks. So just back at the car, uh, pretty happy with how the two images went. Uh, I've got an idea of maybe one or two places still to go today. Um, they're literally within just a mile of here. One is Port Glasgow Timber Ponds and the other is New Ark Pier. Uh, just at New Ark, in fact it's Lament's Pier, uh, just at New Ark Castle. Um, I really quite like that mist that's hanging over the hill and both of them kind of point out towards that. So I'll head over there, uh, see what's what and then go back up the road for something to eat and wait on the fireworks tonight.
So we're now at Lambert's Pier in Port Glasgow. My original plan was to be on the pier taking the shot, however there is now a big danger keep off sign and the fence comes right round past the pier so it's difficult to get onto. Uh, what I'm going to do instead is there's a jetty at my right hand side there, so I'll get down on top of the jetty and shoot the bridge, uh, shoot the pier at an angle instead. So we'll do that, we'll go and take one more and then head back home. So for this shot, I have got the long lens out, I think I'm sitting about 100mm. Uh, the reason for that is because the timber ponds themselves are actually a little bit far away and the hills in the background will increase in size due to the long lens. Really quite nice, there's some reflections. The tides are a wee bit far in compared to how I would want it to be, um, but we'll get it taken and we'll see how it looks later on. So back at the car and pretty happy with how the images went today. Uh, obviously everything's in black and white, uh, but tonight I will be attending the Embercloyde fireworks. Now fireworks are held in the Battery Park in Greenock. However, I'm going to be at Lyle Hill viewpoint so I can look down on the fireworks and get a nice view of Gurok and the surrounding area. Uh, as I said, black and white photographs today, but hopefully sh tonight should be full of colour. So we're just sitting at the Lyle Hill viewpoint and waiting on the fireworks to start. Probably get about 20 minutes or so, so I'm going to have to start making a move because having a wee look is uh, pretty busy so far. Um, so I'll probably use an exposure between about F6 and F8 for around about 4 seconds depending on how much light's up there and hopefully we get some decent shots. So this year's probably been about the best year in the last 10 years that we've actually had decent weather for Invercloud fireworks and as you can probably see from the video after about 5 minutes uh, the smoke set in and we pretty much missed the rest of the display. Um, I do think I've got a couple of decent shots here to make a de decent photograph out of. Uh, so thank you very much everyone for watching and if you enjoyed it just press the thumbs up button below and just remember to subscribe as well. Take care.